All right. So I got rank one Bloodbound Core, you know, second boss, lovely. Uh, I actually already got rank one on this before, I just didn't make a video about it. But we'll make a video about it now because people, I guess, weren't killing the ads because I'm 100k over the next person and I was playing Ray Frost, um, right? So that's a little unusual. I did do top boss damage for Frost at least, but it was only by like 7k, as you can see here. So most of my benefit came from, you know, getting some cleave or something on the, the ads and stuff. Um, in terms of, if you're wondering how this looks compared to all mages, it's 12. See, so. Fire's really good at this boss for hitting all the ads with Ignite, as you would kind of expect. Um, here's kind of what I look like, which is funny. Uh, so, yeah, it is strange. I don't know. I, the Fire Mage might have been the other group, and that's why, I like, our ads live longer or something. I'm not sure. Um, I don't really pay attention to who's in my group, so... Yeah, but we'll go ahead and watch it. Yeah, standard opener. You are forced to be pretty far from him. Like, even right now, I'm probably like 15, 20 yards away from him just because he has a large hitbox and I can't be like inside it, basically, uh, which is not great for Spell Singer. It really makes it harder to react to your. Or like get more uh, splinter consumptions in, really. So, see, so like there, I think that was not part of Iceland. That was an extra Iceland I didn't need to do. Didn't really matter. I hope, uh, I would prefer if they did some talent changes for Frost on PTR, but that's just definitely not going to happen, uh, with only two weeks left. It feels a bit bad that they, you know, left our talents in where they should be, or where they are, instead of, uh, you know, buffing them at all or changing them, because we have a pretty poor talent tree. Anyway, right here I just orbed. I actually wanted to get Winter's Chill on Ray. Because what's going to happen is I'm just not going to Ray Frost between my Icy Banes because of this orb. Because uh, you don't want to use Ray Frost when you're in Freezing Winds. And so I wouldn't want to Ray Frost. But I'm Shifting Power, so then I consume these. And I get an Icy Veins proc. And I extend this Icy Veins proc until my um, you know, Icy Veins actually comes up, basically. In terms of, like, now there's adds. And so, obviously, I can't Ray Frost because I want to do add damage. And so now I'm just not going to use Ray Frost. Um, so I could have done more single target if I'd used Ray Frost there. And so here, this is kind of the cleave I'm talking about. You can see I'm like getting this cleave value here. If I was playing Blizzard, I could have just Blizzard all these mobs. And that would have been really good. Technically me running up further here means that I won't cleave, except there's also some mobs on the other side of the boss I can cleave to. So yeah. You can see there's just, there's a lot of, like, secondary cleave here. I wish I didn't have this, like, kind of indecision for a second there, but I basically decided, you know, I, I already knew I lost, like, my Splinter Storm refreshes, so I, uh, decided to Ray. Which, it's okay to Ray in Icy Veins, generally, though, only when you have your Spy Masters up, and also under, the, you know, all the other conditions you would press Ray Frost. Um, but yeah. I should have just done a glacial spike from the get go instead of doing the count storm. I just tried to be like a cheeky little little prediction. Um but yeah. Sometimes I just decide that I want to uh Consume more show with Glacial Spike for no particular reason, which is fine. Now here we're going to Ray, which is perfect. This is how you want to Ray out of Icy Veins.
I messed up by using Ice Lance a little too much there when I should have transitioned to Glacier Spike earlier and I had to use more Ice Lances to account for that. But... Yeah, you can see there's those that heads on the other side of the boss that are just going in, which is unfortunate, but he's about to die, so. Really, I should have raided at some point here. Yeah, so like right now, it's fine. And he dies right after my prey, which is good. And then we got some shoulders, which I uh, got so I could catalyze them because I had hero track shoulders, which is nice. So, um, And then you can see I literally, <laughs> I did not get aug buffed really at all. This is just normal. And this is augged. So I got like 20k aug damage where a warrior got like 200,000 aug damage. So, yeah. Unfortunate for him, I guess. Um, but anyway, that's just how this looks. You can look at my bot if you want to see more. Um, the rest of the bosses weren't really anything crazy. I mean, I also rank one sick round again, but I think that's mostly because I just didn't miss my orb this time, so I didn't like drop bone chilling and stuff. I had some other good buffs. Um, and then Brood, we played like a a strat where you kill less adds, so that was a nice great. I died on Rashnan, and then next is Princess. I uh, used a bunch of defensive strain surge, way more than I actually should have. Um, I was looking at our other mage. It's just this doesn't show you obviously the ones you use during surge or anything, but you know, obviously I used more barriers and stuff and more altars. Alter doesn't really matter, um, but it's more so that like I literally used more touch magi guys, but my touch magi did less damage because I was like here. I think I should be at the top, yeah. So let's look for your surge. That surge is fine, which is good. I mean, obviously, this is a skill issue right here. I played Ice Flows, uh, and I should have played Shimmery. Like, Ice Flows is fine. You just need, I don't know. Ice Flows is like, if you play Ice Flows, you actually have to accept you have to blink. Like, I wasn't blinking out during the intermission. And I was using like, all my ice flows to get out there, and it just wasn't the move. And it's just like I just have like all these gaps from it. Uh, and so you should literally just, if you want to play ice flows for the intermission, which is good for, um, you just have to blink out. But then there's also times where I don't think it happened this bowl, but you know you have to move a lot when you initially get the uh, the circle on you, and then in that case you also have to blink, and it's it's pretty bad for ice flows. But you never lose damage to daggers at least. So yeah, you can see here I like. I'm trying to move, and I like cast my flows after the this is the gap right here, um, not as big as it looks, but like right here. And I like GM is also during my surge, and I also barrier during my surge, and I blink during like my arcane soul or something. So like this was horrible. That was really bad. Um, and I think it happens again. Like here, I barrier during my surge. You really don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, like this is me touch of the magi and just fucking missing two GCDs right here. Um, did I do anything during my spy masters? I guess not. Spy masters was pretty decent, except I buried probably during my soul. Black GCD, my soul. Yeah. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, so. Anyway. Not really doing a high M plus pushing, so I don't know if I'll be able to, if I'll be putting out like 12s or something. I really ideally would want to put out like some plus 12 and plus videos, but the next video might just be uh, the the guide to 11.0.5 Frost. So look forward to that. Anyway, let me know if you have any comments, questions down below.